monetary policy statement talks about upward pressure on retail interest rates because of funding costs and that, quote, monetary policy will need to take account of such pressures. Does that mean if the banks pass on or are about to pass on those higher funding costs, the Reserve Bank would cut the official cash rate? No. What's, why shouldn't the banks use some of the fat that built up over the last 18 months, about a 50 basis point increase in the net interest margin? Why don't they use that to absorb those higher funding costs? Well, uh, broadly speaking, that's driven by competition in the banking sector, and there is quite strong competition, as you'll know, between banks at the moment. They're competing strongly for domestic deposits, and um, because of such limited credit growth, actually they're competing for the opportunity to lend as well. Uh, we think that's uh, a more useful competitive restraint on them than we can do from a regulatory point of view. But the, that competition hasn't actually... Um reduced margins, the margins have actually increased over the last 18 months. Um, Jason, do you want to comment? Uh, Jason yeah. Wong, Head of our Financial Markets. I guess if you took a longer term perspective, margins were squeezed leading up to the GFC and then they've sort of come and rebound a little bit. There's a bit of compos compositional effect going on. There's the mortgage bot moves from fixed rate mortgages which were lower margin into higher margin floating rate mortgages. There's been some expansion of margins there as well. So, I mean, margins have been sort of coming and going. Um, we don't see it that they're you know, off, you know, taking excessive profits in this sort of environment. In fact, when we look at some of the pressures, we see you know, banking uh, funding pressures. You can just see those long-term wholesale funding pressures really start to bite. And if that continues, obviously, you know, it's a cost they've got to face down the track. Thank you. 